no, 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 no. Dr. Brute 7 signing in, exciting release. We have gotten Modern Combat 3 ported on our PlayStation Vitas, thanks to Glintwine. Do not buy a PS Vita. Modern Combat 3 is a Call of Duty of mobiles. Made by Gameloft, this game is a great addition to the PS Vita library. As always, I will guide you all through the setup process of this impressive shooter, so sit back and follow through. Oh damn! Look at the gunplay, solid shooting and intense gameplay, what more do you want? And they say there's nothing going on for the PS Vita these days. <sighs> Alright, let's not waste any more time and let's get into the setup and installation process. Okay, so let's start the setup process of the game data files. Make sure that you grab a hold of the Modern Combat 3, the latest version of Modern Combat 3 game data files, which should be version 1.17G. That's the latest version of the game and this port is tailored for that version. Make sure that you check the GitHub of Modern Combat as well. If you have any kind of issues, there is a section, specific section called known issues with any kind of troubleshooting help. And also you're gonna have to make sure that you have the latest version of QBridge or FD Fix. We're gonna get to that later. So let's start with the compilation process of the game data files. Assuming that you have got a hold of the latest version of the game data files of Modern Combat 3 along with the APK. We're gonna start with the extraction process. You can use any 7-zip extractor or WinRAR as well. So we're gonna first extract the APK file. So right click on it, WinRAR Archiver and... Really nigga? And just extract. Okay, so the APK file has been extracted. It's right over here. Now create a folder and name it as MC3, exactly like how I am showing. No upper caps, no nothing of that sort. Okay, this is where we're going to transfer all the files and folders. Now let's head over into the extracted APK folder. Head over into the LIB subfolder. Now you're gonna get three folders inside that subfolder. We're gonna need the one that is inside the ARME ABI V7A. Okay, head over into that folder, copy that LIB Modern Combat 3.so, head over into the created MC3 folder and paste it over there. Alright, let's delete the extracted folder. We do not need that. Now, let's extract the game data files. Okay, with the game data files extracted, we're gonna head over into the extracted folder and we're gonna copy these two files, head over into the created MC3 folder and paste it over there. All right, that's done. Now, inside the MC3 folder, create another subfolder and name it as data. Now go into the created data subfolder and here we're gonna make another folder and name it as briefing. Okay, now inside the briefing folder, we're going to transfer the video files, which we'll be getting by extracting the patch.11428 dot this obb file, the second one. I'm gonna right click on it, open with WinRAR archive, extract to, okay. Once extracted, head over into the extracted folder, select all the files, copy them, head over into the mc3 folder, the data folder, into briefing, and this is where we're going to paste all the files. All right, that's it. Okay, that's all done. Now time to just transfer the compiled game data files into our PlayStation Vita. Okay, this here is my PlayStation Vita memory card. Head over into the data folder. This is where we're going to transfer the MC3 folder. I already have it transferred. It's right over here. We're gonna need the most important Modern Combat 3 installation, the VPK file, head over into Rin Garamante's website, download the VPK file and paste it into your PlayStation Vita's memory card's root. Or if you have a dedicated folder, you can paste it over there. Once that's done, I'm gonna show you guys the next steps on the PlayStation Vita. 
okay we are on our playstation vitas just disconnect vita shell and unplug the usb look for the mc3 vpk file hit on x and install i already have it installed don't need to do that now we're going to update our QBridge plugin because I have QBridge. If you have FD Fix, you make sure you're gonna update that too. Otherwise, you're gonna get this message. You need to update QBridge to version 0.3.1 or higher to play this game. So, in order to do that, we're gonna head over to Auto Plugin 2. This is a very important homebrew app. Now, Auto Plugin 2 is going to do the update process. So there we go, qbridge.skprx is installed. Would you like to update it? Let's update that. And update the additional plugins. All right, it's done. We're gonna exit and restart our PlayStation Vita. Now here's the thing, I'm gonna, it's been a while, I, I've been meaning to do this, but my lazy ass just procrastinated. So let's just do it on this video while we are at it. We're gonna install one more plugin. Let me get to that in a bit after I show you another step. Make sure you have Sharkbreed installed as well. Make sure that you are connected to the internet while using Sharkbreed because Sharkbreed requires an internet connection. It's gonna download and update the runtime packages and all the other required prerequisites in order to run these ports flawlessly. All right, now time to install this exciting plugin that's gonna allow you to earn trophies on these unofficial ports. So the name of the plugin is no TRP DRM. This plugin too can be downloaded through Auto Plugin 2, so it's gonna be very easy. So head over to Auto Plugin 2, go to Vita Plugins, install plugins, and go all the way down until you see no trp drm by rin garamante this is the one that we need hit on x and it's going to give you this message no trp drm is a plugin that enables official trophies pack usage with senp trophy for homebrews on a ps vita system now i already have this added up for some reason it was giving me that message when i was trying to run modern combat 3 that it's not installed so we're just going to go ahead and reinstall this so it has been installed exit restart the playstation vita perfect the plugin has been installed successfully now before i was trying to add it manually by going into tie folder through the config.txt file when i shut down my playstation vita and restarted it it wasn't it just wasn't taking effect it's always a safe bet to install it through auto plugin 2 like i've said auto plugin 2 is the best is the most important homebrew and the essential homebrew for any kind of ps vita jailbreak related stuff along with shark breed so i have a separate tutorial video for that i'm not going to drag this video any longer you can find that video link in the description and yeah so modern combat 3 is up and running there we go. So that is it for this one. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to drop in a like and subscribe. I need to pick up on my live streamings and yeah, enjoy some gameplay while going live. If you want to stay posted with my usual contents, make sure to check out my channel and drop in your like and subscribe new users. Keep up with the support means a lot. I'm going to see you guys on the next one. Dr. Root7 signing off. Peace.